Hey everyone, this is Dustin coming at you from my workbench. Uh, good morning. It's, um, it's honestly pretty early here as I record this. It's, uh, what, almost like 4.30 right now. A lot of people don't know this, but I, I get up really early in the morning. And uh, I don't know, one of the things I do when I'm waking up is I work on consoles. Um, I had recently picked this one up. I was saying, um, I don't know, whenever I see a console, if it's a good price on it, I'll go ahead and grab it even if I don't need it right right away. Um, I think I picked this one up for something like 20 bucks and that was shipped even, so this is fine. It honestly, when I got it, looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's kind of like a scratch right there, but that would easily come out. A few scratches on the lens. Um, I've, got the, I've got the battery cover, I just took it off so that I could easily get at this. Um, I did cheat a little bit. I've taken out the screws from this one. Let's see if it turns on but I've not really looked inside. Oh, see, there we go. I'm having good luck already. Now, one of the things though that I do like to do is I've got here, this is a cartridge. There's a group on Facebook called Retro DX that my uh, buddy John runs. And what this is, is a diagnostic cartridge. So let me start this up and you're gonna see uh, Rainbow Retro, which is a company I used to have start up here, but this is really cool. So all I do is I press up, down, left, right, and you can see down the down the edge here, everything's uh, showing so far so good. A, B, left, right, uh, start, select. Okay, well, the, geez, it's, it's like, looks like everything is working just fine, but we're still gonna clean this. Um, I do with every console that I get. But yeah, if you want one of these consoles, or not one of these consoles, but if you want one of these, um, I'll point you in the direction in the comments on where you can, uh, or the job de or the job description, not the job description, but rather the video description, and I'll show you where you can get that. Um, I'm gonna take the batteries out here real quick. Like I said, I, I did take a peek at this only so I could take the screws out to speed things up a little bit. I'm going to take this and put it in my bucket of parts. Um, but yeah, here, look, check this out. So I'll just kind of like do a, uh, a scan here and you can see this is in really good shape actually. So whoever had this took good care of it. Um, but so let's start taking some of these parts out here. And I'm just going to pop them over into well, that one's, the, you know, there's a little bit of uh, dirt on the buttons here, so that's that's really, but that's to be expected. That's nothing big. That's a shoulder, and these you'll see like there's it gets a little scuffed. Let me back out here a little bit, um, and we'll undo the display, which seemed like it was doing fine as well. I didn't see any uh, lines or problems like that, but I rarely do on these. And so I'm gonna lift that out. I, again, I had cheated. There was like two screws here. I of course already took them out. The reason is I just want to make speed things up a little bit and make it so that these videos aren't any really longer than they need to be. Uh, and let's take a look at these. Oh geez, yeah, that's crazy. Yep. Wow, what on earth is that? It's like sand is in here or something. Okay, well there we go. We're gonna definitely need to clean that up. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's some kind of sand is built up here. Looks like white sand. Not really sure what that's about, but that's okay. We'll get this all cleaned up like that. And I'm going to, um, part of the cleaning that I'm going to do is I clean these in an ultrasonic uh, cleaner. I think I've probably mentioned that before, but it's, you know, there's not everybody's watching all these videos. And this is interesting. Oh, there we go. As I say, you just kind of flex the board a little bit here and you'll get the screen to pop out. This one looks like it's gonna be a little bit stubborn. I might have to, oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And there we go. It's kind of like, it's like you wanna flex the board a bit, or not the board, but the shell a little bit to get that going. Um, and then it's like you definitely want to get your fingernail underneath there to get it out. And you'll see it's got this little gasket here. 
Um, don't really need that. So I'll just get rid of that. That'll be fine. And I'm going to set that aside because I don't need to do anything with that real quick. Um, so yeah, now this is the screen on the, the, the lens on this is pretty dirty. So let me see if I can just push in here or not, not so much dirty as it is scratched up. There we go. So I'm going to pull that out of there. Now, I don't know. There's like, there are some people that are taking these and just like polishing them. I've not done that so far. I do want to get some polish and give it a try. So actually what I am going to do is um, set this aside. And I think I'll give that a try here in a little bit. So there we go. We've got that stripped down. The buttons came out of here. The one thing you want to watch for actually over here is a little piece that's a light pipe and it's clear. So that's what you got to really watch for. So here's that. And I'll put the battery cover in there. Now, this is also something that I've got that's part of my cleaning process. This is a one-up card. We've got these on the store. So if you went to, I think it's parts and tools, uh, or actually really any of the Game Boy categories, you'll see this. This is actually, if you can see it, it's got a little bit of kind of like a, like a fine grit, um, like a sandpaper inside of there. And all you do is, oh, and there's a rubber pad that was stuck there. All you do is you just take this and you put it into, take this and put the cartridge in there. Let's see if it does that. There we go. And you just kind of pull it out. I'm going to put it in there. Let's see. Just do, I just do that a couple times. And what that does is actually clean the contacts in the slot. The, these are super handy. Um, I'll show you in a little bit. There's also another part of the one-up cards. Um, I'll show that in a little bit later though. Actually, here, let me just reach and grab one. Here we go. So this is the uh, one-up card mini is what this is called. And you can see it says here, there's a fluid side, but then there's also a dry side. And what I'll do is, let me take this cartridge, and it doesn't need to be cleaned, but I do put this in a lot of questionable consoles, so we'll, we will clean it. And what I do is I just take the, the fluid side, and they, it comes with like this cleaner, and I'm just going to drop that on there. The cleaner, um, I'll be honest, I think is just um, like isopropyl alcohol. And I take the, the felt side of this, go right inside here, and just kind of like move that back and forth. Sometimes I'll try and get like a little bit of a circular motion. And so there's that. Then on the dry side, put that in there and move that back and forth. Again, I'll do a little bit of a circular motion. And what that does is really clean off those contacts. This was working just fine, so I'm not too worried about what that's going to be like. Um, but I just wanted to show you there that's what those are for. They're um, pretty darn handy. And here we are. We're back at the board. I've got over here some 99% isopropyl alcohol. I always recommend that you use something like 91 or greater percent. It's got less water in it, and so that means it's going to um, dry more quickly. And again, just as like if you've watched some of my previous videos, I just got a big drop of isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to move this power switch back and forth and get that. It was, uh, it's feeling a little gritty, but um, you really can't, especially if you're using like 99%, 91% isopropyl alcohol, you really can't overdo this. You're just going to need a couple minutes for it to dry. Um, but that's honestly, that's also why I do the power switch first. Um, and I'm just moving that back and forth real quick. So if there is anything in there, this was already turning on, but I just want to make sure um, that everything does get cleaned. Oh, geez, look at that. Even the speaker is pristine. Um, ben over at Ben Ben, uh, the guy behind it, has told us about speaker rot before. Um, I call it speaker rot anyways. 
and it's when the capacitor is putting through too much electricity and um, you'll see like a brown film inside of here. We're not seeing any of that, so at least the the caps seem like they, or the capacitors seem like they must be pretty good. Um, here I'm gonna dip some more alcohol. And I'm gonna go in, this is the volume, uh, the volume dial. And I'm just dropping in a whole bunch there, kind of turning it as we go. Do, do, do. And yeah, and then once I've got like a little bit dropped in at all turning, there we go. I'm just going to rock that back and forth. That should be plenty. Again, this one, it seemed like the volume was pretty loud on it. Uh, so that's good. I'm going to take a little bit more um, alcohol and put it right into that. Um, that switch here and just work that a little bit yeah it is clicking um, now you remember with the diagnostic cartridge it seemed like the shoulder buttons were fine um, that's cool but what I do find is is at least putting this in there if there is any gunk in there it does loosen it up quite a bit and sorry it was a little bit off off camera for a bit there um, even oh my gosh See, this is just, I, I'm doing pretty good, getting pretty good luck here. I'm looking at this contact right here, the um, the game port, and it looks fine. But what I'm going to do is I take a toothbrush, and I put that in there and just kind of um, try and get that in there a little bit, small circular motions. Um, if there, Sometimes there's like dirt in there, or sometimes it'll look even kind of rusty. But that's looking quite fine, so that's good. Uh, next up, we've got these contacts here. So dip uh, alcohol again. And this is the A button and the B button. Now these are, again, uh, looking pretty shiny. So that's, I'm sure these are just fine. Dip a little bit more alcohol and the select and start buttons. And we'll just clean these off. These are quite shiny, but basically if there's an oxidation, oxidation is like a layer of like, um, I guess you could just say kind of like buildup that gets on the contacts and would prevent them from working as smoothly as they should. Um, this one seemed like it was pretty good. And one other thing I'm going to do is you see the headphone jack here? Um, you can actually see there's a little bit of like rust to it. So I'm not sure what would have done that. That could actually just be oxidation. But what I do is I take a pipe cleaner here and I'll leave um, in the description where I get those. And I just dip that in isopropyl alcohol and that can go actually right through there. This pipe cleaner is not the same pipe cleaners that we, you would use for like arts and crafts. And so I'm kind of like turning it as I go in and out with that. Um, this is not the same one that you'd art, arts and craft. This one's actually made for cleaning uh, pipes. Um, so I was able to find it on Amazon and just grab that. And then I'll turn around and put the dry side in. There's that. And what this does is inside actually there's a physical switch that when the headphone jack is inserted, what it detects is that there's a physical switch inside of there that turns off the speaker audio and just goes through the headphone jack. And so that's what you're looking to fix with that one. Um, this is, gosh, this is looking pretty good. Let's check these battery contacts. Jeez, you know, again, it, it seems like I'm having a lot of good luck lately when I grab these things that it's just like everything's looking good. Uh, look at the battery contacts on this side. Um, yeah, that's just some glare that was coming in there. Um, these are good. Feel it. Yeah, it feels fine. Um, yeah, so this is this is really looking pretty good. Now that this is uh, everything that I would be doing for the cleaning, the next thing I would be doing is an ultrasonic bath and just kind of like scrubbing this. But really what I wanted to do to show you today was just how to deep clean this board. And that's what we've been able to do so far. So I think that's going to be really cool. Um, so thank you for watching. And I'm going to 
probably tackle a DMG next. Uh, so maybe I'll record that as of like tomorrow morning, something like that. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.